Buffer review how to post on multiple social media platform at once. In this video, we're going to be talking about a great platform that allows you to go ahead and upload all types of, you know, different social media content on your social media and scale it, drive a lot of more sales and get more followers. Okay. And we're going to be talking about all of that in this video. So please do make sure to fully watch the, the end. Now to start things off, the platform we're talking about is obviously Buffer. And to access Buffer, we're going to come over to Buffer.com as you can see over here. Now on Buffer.com here, as you can see, they say grow your audience on social and beyond. Buffer basically helps you go ahead and build you know, your audience organically gives you great value driven things and a whole lot more. And, you know, Buffer generally gives you a good, uh, you could say, general idea of how you can get affordable, intuitive and great marketing tools for ambitious working. So to start things off, what we are going to be doing is we're going to come over to Buffer over here, as you can see, and we're going to go ahead and click on Get Started Now. Now, once you click on Get Started Now, it's going to bring you to let's get your account set up. Now, once it is in let's get your account set up here, we're going to want an email. So I'm going to be using a temp mail for myself. You don't necessarily have to go through with this step, but I'm just going to go through with it because I want a temporary account. So I'm going to add that here. Then we're going to set up a password for ourselves. So I'm going to do just that. And once we have set up a password, we're going to click on sign up. Now, once you click on sign up, you're simply going to wait for things to load in. And as you can see, it's going to onboard you and bring you over here. So we have account.buffer.com slash onboarding, where it's going to ask us, you know, basic questions about Buffer, you know, what you're here to do, what do you expect, how many teams you have, etc. So it says, welcome to Buffer. Where would you like to start? So you could grow your audience, you could build your start page, or you could analyze your content. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty easy to start things off right away. I'm going to skip selection and do these things one by one. OK, so here you can see it has loaded us into this page. Now, in the start, it might be a bit confusing for you, but trust me, it's really simple. So to start things off first, we have this create tab over here. OK, now on the create tab, it opens up a Kanban board for us. OK, so this is where you're going to manage things with your team, where you're going to, you know, manage new creations, new ideas, etc. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and add a new idea over here. I'm going to give my idea a title. Let's say SEO post. OK, we're going to write something like that. And then down here you can write, um, you know, details about that SEO post, what this SEO post will do in this. We will, you know, be talking about our brand, but using keywords. Okay. So, you know, write something like that. And then you can also go ahead and select any images that you want. You can drag and download images. If that is what you want to do, let's say I'm going to upload this image. It's not going to take a lot of time. And there you go. Now the image is added. Now, obviously right now you can also see it's unassigned. So to assign it to someone, you can add tags, create tags or something like that. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and save this post. And once we save this post before saving it, you do need to make sure you need to connect the channel. So let me show you how you're going to do that. So when you're creating a post, it's going to ask you to connect a channel. You're going to click on connect. And here, as you can see, it gives you all these different social media channels to connect. Now on the free plan, you can only connect only three channels. You can not connect more than that. So what you're going to be doing is we're going to come to all channels. We have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, etc. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and connect my YouTube first. All right. So to connect my YouTube, I'm going to come over here. Uh, let's say I have to connect this account. I'm going to choose that account and we're going to set up a password. OK, we're going to add our password right into this. And once we've added our password, we're going to click on enter and it's going to basically sign me in. Now, once we're signed in, it's going to give us access. You know, what do you want it to access? So we're obviously going to give it the access to manage our YouTube videos and our content. And once you've done that, you're going to click on start connecting. So from here, it starts connecting your YouTube channel. And here it says, great, you have connected a channel. You have successfully connected YouTube to Buffer. Now you can begin scheduling posts to it. So now you're going to go to create a post. Now, once we come over to create a post here, it says, try the you know team plan. You can get it for the pricing. It's pretty decent, but I'm going to skip that. And I'm going to come here, you know, create any random post just like this. 
Now, once we've created our post, you're going to drag and drop any video or image you want. Okay. Now you do have to make sure for YouTube, you will use MOV, MP4, MPG, MPEG, AVI, and WEBM. Then we have our title. Uh, you know, I'm just going to call it SEO. We have categories for autos and vehicles. You can change that if you want to. There's many categories to go with. Let's say I'm going to go with entertainment. Then we have our license. So you can go with the standard YouTube license or the Creative Commons license that Buffer provides you. I'm going to go with the YouTube license. And once we have done all of this, you are going to want to make sure that there is a video that needs to be uploaded because without a video, it will not go ahead and, you know, do the works for it. So simply wait for things to load in, simply wait for things to finish up. And once that is done, you're going to go ahead and click on add to queue. Okay. You're going to add this video to queue and this video will be set to upload on your channel. Okay. Now, just like this, you can do the same with your Facebook, your Instagram, and your Twitter, because basically buffer allows you to as I stated previously, upload on multiple social media platforms of yours at the same time simultaneously. Okay, so you can choose the time at when you want to schedule the post. So let's say I want to schedule it on Saturday. Okay, and you're going to create the post over here. And at Saturday at some specific time, the upload is going to be done. And a lot of YouTubers, a lot of social media influencers out there use buffer, because you know, you can't manage your social media platform by you know, constantly uploading through that platform, you do need some type of uh, ulterior motive or alternative that's going to allow you to, you know, not only gather all of your resources in one place, but also upload them on different mediums from one place. Okay, so that's one of the greatest things that you can get through Buffer. So we have our YouTube connected, you can connect Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, you can also go ahead and see more of these channels that you can actually work with. And Obviously, in create, you can save ideas and draft them In publish. You're going to basically create a post and publish those ideas and analyze what's going to be happening is you're going to go ahead and um, analyze all the buffers you have. OK, basically, you get one dashboard for all the media analytics. Now, do know this for analyze. You will need the upper plans and on the upper plans. You are going to go ahead and um, get the free trial. Now, no credit card is required for the free trial. And trust me, the features you get in those 14 days are immaculate. You know, getting more recommendations to grow your presence. You can measure your social media performance and also create a lot of gorgeous posts for yourself. Then moving on, we also have engage. Now, engage basically allows us to create these different uh, engagement posts, you know, asking audiences to be engaged in our posts or in our page. So this basically allows us to attract the audience. This basically allows us to give the audience something, you know, worthy of attraction, something like that. So, you know, engage is a good place to get ideas on how you're going to grow more people in your page and how you're going to drive actual more sales. Okay. And it's a really good feature to have for a section like this. So definitely do make sure to try engage as well. Then moving on, there's also start page. Now, what is start page? Start page is basically where you can create some type of landing page for your social media. So here you can create it pretty easily by choosing any starting template. Like, let's say you can go with some animated one. You can go with some of these up here. And once you choose them, you're going to edit them along for yourself. And once you do that, that basically helps you create a good starting page, a good landing page for your audiences to actually check out. So yeah, that is pretty much all there is when it comes to buffer. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. So then that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.